Amanda Bynes, if you guys know the Amanda show when you were young or she's the man, anything that you watched when you were old, like younger, Sydney she was White. in. Yeah, amazing. Like So good. I love that movie. I think about that movie every day. Big Amanda Bynes fan, but Homegirl is struggling. So she was placed on a psychiatric hold early Sunday after being found roaming the streets of LA naked. So it's been known that she struggles with bipolar disorder, but I guess this past weekend she flagged down a car without any clothes on and told the driver that she was coming down from a psychiatric episode she then called 911 on herself and was taken to a nearby police station where a mental health expert determined she needed to be placed on a 5150 hold and i guess usually with a 5150 hold that typically can last anywhere from 48 to 72 hours but can be extended based on a patient's need but really sad to see i just hate it when child stars like go down a dark road i know it's really sad it's so sad it's so she was found wandering naked someone picks her up tries to help and then she called 911 on herself saying that she was like suffering from like a yeah like she just break. came down just came down from a psychotic yeah. break that is honestly like i don't know the details so i'm i might be speaking slightly at a turn but like kind of respect her knowing that she needed to get like help. needed help yeah yeah which again I, don't, I wasn't there i don't know maybe i only know like part of the story but part of me is like that i kind of respect the fact that she knew it is sad though it's sad to think about what happens to all of the the child stars mm -hmm. and it's crazy because like when you go back and watch them you really just like you don't know what's gonna happen like um josh peck and drake bell like you know, like Drake yes. and Josh. Oh, oh yeah. I it's love so them. interesting how like well, I love Josh Peck, I should say. Yes. I don't care for Drake but Bell. But it's crazy because when we remember when we first started watching the show and like Drake Bell was like the heartthrob. Mm -hmm. Every girl was obsessed with him. And he was like just the guy. He was supposed to be like the hot one on the show and like Josh was supposed to be like a little bigger and like funny and he ends up like losing the weight, but like he's still supposed to be like the goofier one and Drake's supposed to be like the cool one. But it's interesting because in real life, you see the way that they like monetize their careers differently. And um, Josh Peck ends up getting into like being a YouTuber and mm -hmm. like starts making it in like social he has media, a podcast now. has a podcast and has like all this, you know, people love him and he's like fun and relatable. And Drake Whereas fell off. Drake fell off, but he also just got like extremely sketchy. There's like weird allegations against him of like potential abuse, potential relationship with like a 15 or a 16 year old mm -hmm. girl, like something sketchy as hell. Pretty sure he ended up moving to like South America and like changed his name and like started putting out like music, like in a different language. I don't know, maybe like Spanish music. I can't remember, but he like had all these issues and kept trying to like make it and like it wasn't working out. And then he kept being sketchy and like, there's all these, like there's like a rap sheet of allegations. He started trying to like start beef with Justin Bieber multiple oh, good, times good luck with that. like when justin was like at the height of his career or when justin first became at the height of his career when he was like younger um drake bell kept trying to like come at him and like start fights with him on twitter and shit just to stay i relevant. miss that Damn. it's just interesting though because you look at it and 12 year old shannon never would have known that that would have happened that someone but, you looked up to back then would end up being a piece the, of shit especially later. like the dynamic of like josh being like the, the quirky one and jo drake being like the heartthrob it's like now it's kind of the opposite and it's just it is sad but i also do think it's like a testament to as much as i feel so bad for child stars because i think they go through a lot they have to grow up way too fast they have to make important business decisions they get used for their money they probably do things that they didn't fully consent to and it breaks my heart but i also do think that it always goes back to like you have a choice in your life of like what you're gonna do like if you're gonna learn from the things you went through and like how you're gonna right. respond to it and like you have the opportunity to like make yourself into the a you know a person that's gonna survive that and like continue to stay relevant and do things the right way or you can go down like a kind of a darker path i know i feel like people forget though that britney isn't the only one that was in a conservatorship amanda was for eight years and she oh, yeah she just got like released from that maybe a year ago okay so she's been on her own for a year and i know that she struggles with like substance abuse issues so right i feel like I feel like there needs to be like help for people that are in those situations. Cause I feel like they just like let them out into the wild and then 
or so, I shouldn't say wild civilization. And then it's like, okay, now deal with all your trauma and problems. Like, yeah. And just, is she in therapy? Any, like any help? I know. Sometimes I wonder like what actually does happen to child stars. Like I, has anyone fully come out and like talked about, I, I, know, bet Br I know Brittany has, but like, have we heard fully from, um, you know, Selena Gomez, Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, like, have we heard truly like everything that they went through? Cause I'm sure it's just like crazy. Um, do you know Jen Jeanette McCurdy? Yeah, yeah, she um, came out came out with that from book. iCarly. Yeah, did yeah. you hear about her book that she came? out? It was like, like um, I'm glad Happy her mom, mom died. died. Yeah, I, I listened to like a podcast. I listened to this like book podcast where it's like they do like Spark Notes versions of it. So like yeah. you listen to it for an hour. Oh, and you basically know what like all the good parts of the book. And I listened to the episode about her book. So like I'm not a reader. I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> um, but honestly, the podcast made me want to, which is good on them. Um, What's it's the working. podcast called? I don't know. Oh, come I'll, on. I know. I know. Um, I'll look for it. But they said that um, she basically just like in full detail, like said everything that she went through, like oh, wow. with her mom and like on set and stuff. Um, I think she was a little vague from what I gathered just because what is that guy's name? He literally produced like all the Nickelodeon and like. I think some of the Disney shows, he's like a really scumbag. I'm pretty sure he's like been prosecuted oh. for some things. I don't know. But like she aired it all out as much as she, I think, legally could. Legally could. Because I'm sure they have to sign a bunch of shit too. Yeah. Like so you got to look for the books. The okay. child stars with books are the ones that are probably going to be willing to spill the tea. No, that makes complete sense.